Well, checking in now, it's been just over a month since overnight emergency services for animals returned to Rochester. Gio Battaglia stopped by University Avenue today to hear from those who are providing constant care. Rochester Emergency Veterinary Services on University Avenue says it's been seeing hundreds of patients a week. And while doctors here recognize the work they do is important, they say they still have a long way to go. Since opening just last month, REVS Medical Director Bruce Ingersoll says his staff is constantly seeing patients. We've been busy every single shift um, and, and unfortunately over busy. We're still having to send things to Buffalo because we just don't have the capacity. With limited resources, Ingersoll recognizes the patience of clients. Currently, REVS has one doctor per shift and aside from staffing, there's the sheer space itself. Um, that's all we have for room for, and so once we fill that cage, we need to send place, you know, animals to other places where they have multiple cages and, and a bigger capacity for that. Providing care for animals in severe circumstances, there was nearly a three-month gap between the closing of the previous overnight vet care facility in Brighton and the opening of our EVS. Ingersoll adding the community is appreciative to have these services back in Rochester. I think with the lull and the lapse in um, overnight care, um, the community really felt it and actually um, sort of appreciates what a boon it is to have a facility like this. With consistent traffic, the search is already on for an expanded space to have that bigger capacity, along with adding more equipment. We knew we would outgrow this space. I mean, we we basically hit capacity here, the, capacity here the first week. But with that comes with a hefty price tag. We're doing this. Um, there's no corporate backing with this, so we're doing this all on the, the community support. For more on ways to help Rochester Emergency Veterinary Services and for the services that they offer. We have that in this article on rochesterfirst.com. Reporting from University Avenue, Gio Pataglia, News 8.